This is tutorial one and question one in the multiple reservoir discharge section. In this question, we've been given three reservoirs and three separate pipelines that connect them. The pipeline splits going from A and then it joins up B and C. Each of the pipelines are different lengths, diameters and have their own friction factors. So let's read the question. A dam A has to supply two separate reservoirs via a combined pipeline. The water level in the first reservoir, B, is 38 meters below the dam water level. The water level of the second reservoir, C, is 22 meters below the water level of the first reservoir, B, as shown in figure one below. And we're asked to calculate the flow rates in line one, line two, and line three in cubic meters per second, taking only the friction losses into account. So the important thing to keep in mind is that the discharge through line one, which comes out of reservoir A, must be equal to the combined discharge in line two and line three. So putting that down mathematically, we can say that Q1 is equal to Q2 plus Q3. All right, so to, in order to calculate this problem, uh, we have to take the friction losses in the pipeline into consideration and to, to calculate friction losses in pipelines, we know from last semester that we use the Darcy formula. And the Darcy formula looks like this. Uh, head loss to the friction is equal to the friction factor times the length of the pipe times the velocity squared divided by the diameter of the pipe and uh, divided by 2g. So this is the Darcy formula. All right. But because we're going to be working out discharges, it's useful to convert this Darcy formula into a version that can um, calculate the discharge. We know that the formula for discharge, Q, is equal to the cross-sectional area of the pipe times the velocity of the pipe. Cross-sectional area is equal to pi over 4 d squared, so that times velocity gives you discharge. Um, if you want to substitute it into the Darcy formula, we need that in terms of every squared. So therefore we square everything in the formula where we end up with a Q square divided by pi over four squared and diameter to the fourth. Substituting that into the Darcy formula, we get the friction loss um, is equal to FLQ squared divided by pi over four squared d to the fifth to g. Um, and if we simplify all the constants, we'll finally end up with the head loss to the friction is FL q squared divided by 12,1 d to the power of five. And that is what we can use in this problem. All right, so calculating the friction losses in the pipelines. Right, it lost to the friction in the first pipeline is FLQ1 squared over 12,1 D1 to the power of 5. And if we substitute for the friction factor, which is 0,02, 
we substitute for the length which is 409 meters um, the discharge above one is the unknown and we divide that by 12,1 and also the diameter which we know is 0,4 meters to the power of 5 we end up with the head loss due to friction in pipeline 1 66 Q1 squared the head loss due to friction in pipe 2 the same formula substituting we get 0 03 for the friction co coefficient and multiply that by 130 meters of pipeline um, Q2 squared divided by 12,1 times the diameter 0, 0,25 and that's to the power 5 so head loss to the friction in the second pipe ends up being 330 Q2 squared, so that's also in terms of the discharge. Um, our third pipeline, head loss to the friction, pipeline number 3, 0.04 is the friction factor, multiplied by 51 meters, Q3 squared, divided by 12,1 and the diameter 0,15 meters to the power of 5. That gives us the head loss to the friction in pipe 3 is triple two zero Q3 squared. All right, so the next step is to apply the Bernoulli equation between the various points in the pipeline. So the first thing we will do is apply Bernoulli between point A and B. So if we look at our diagram, we can see point A is the water level of the first tank, point B is the water level of the upper second tank. So the height difference between A and B is 38 meters and that is causing the flow from A to B and the resistance to the flow is equal to the head loss due to friction of the two pipelines A and B. So that would be head loss due to friction in pipeline 1 plus head loss due to friction in pipe 2. Uh, 38 substituting for those two we get 66 q1 squared plus 330 q2 squared um, we want to make um, q2 the subject of the formula so that we can substitute it later um, so Q2 will then be equal to the square root of 38 minus 66 Q1 squared divided by 330. So let's call that equation 1. Now we're going to apply Bernoulli from A to C.
So the height difference between A and C would be 38 meters plus 22 meters. And that is equal to head loss due to friction in pipeline one plus head loss due to friction in pipe three. So that is 60. Um, and substituting 66 Q1 squared and 2220 Q3 squared. So let's make Q3 the subject of the formula. That would be a square root of 60 minus. 66 Q1 squared and that's all divided by triple two zero. That can be our equation two. We now have two equations in terms of Q1 squared. And now for continuity of flow, as we said earlier, that the discharge in um, through the first pipeline, Q1, this is the sum of the discharges in the second and the third pipelines. So that is our third equation in terms of the discharges. So we can now substitute for Q2 and Q3 and get an equation in terms of Q1 only. So Q1 is equal to square root 38 minus 66 Q1 squared. It's divided by 330 plus the square root of 60 minus 66 um, Q1 squared divided by triple two zero. So now we essentially have a quadratic equation. We can solve that in one of two ways, uh, by successive approximation or by using your calculator. From that equation, we can determine that our Q1 value is 0, 0.43 cubic meters per second. Uh, substituting in equation number 1, we get Q two is equal to zero comma two seven nine six cubic meters per second if we substitute q one into equation two we'll get the value for q three which is zero comma one four six seven cubic meters per second and that is the end of the problem